All right, so we've drawn problem four. Now we want to dimension problem four, and there's a couple of ways to do this, and we need to check our dimension style before we start doing some of that. So if we go to annotate, the little drop down funny arrow here and modify, we can go in and check a couple of things. So for an example, we want it by layer by layer. We do want it 0 0.125, 0 0.125, um, symbols, close, fill, close, fill, close, fill, 125, 125, 125, okay, leave that zero. The text we want to use is Arial. We do want to leave it by layer. Do not do a full color because then that turns the whole thing into a box. So leave that at none. Centered, center, left to right, um, 0.125, horizontal. Uh, if we were doing a line, if we were doing architectural, we change it to line, but everything what we're going to do at this point is going to be pretty much geometric, so we're uh, engineering, so we're going to leave that alone. Either the text to arrows, let it decide which is better. Suppress the arrows that they don't fit inside, beside primary units to the 100s. You could go down even further if you needed to. We shouldn't. Scale factor zero, leave that all alone, and we're going to tell it okay. And set current and close. Another way that you can get to that without having to go to annotate and find that is if you type in the dim style, just type it in. You can also get into it that way so that you can modify it so that you can check things. So maybe you've been told that you need to go down all the way to thousands or ten thousands. You can change those up or if you need to change it from decimal to architecture or engineering or whatever you need to change it to, you can do that quite easily just by selecting here and going into your dim style and changing it up. So I'm going to close. All right, back to the home. Now I want to dimension on the dimension layer. I do not want to dimension on the border or visible layer. Goodness gracious, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, um, now we're going to dimension it. Now the dimensioning we will do in our paper space here, because we've done the drawing and model space, and we can draw whatever we need to, and we can actually add by using that viewport, putting it in the title block, and making everything work the way we want it to work, etc. Oops, there's something I didn't do at the beginning of this. I just realized you should always do a save as when you open a drawing, right? Make sure it's going to that CAD folder and do not save it as STS title block. This would be a problem. Number four, plate. And I should set my save time always also to five after I do a save as. I could have lost all that work and had to start all over again. That would really suck, right? Okay, no, sorry, I digress. So we got down the dimension layer and we're going to do a linear dimensions. And all I'm going to do is take my mouse and click here. And then I'm going to click at the end point of that center mark. And then I'm going to move it up here. So there's my first one. I hit the enter key again. I'm going to go from the end point of that center mark to the end point of the center mark. And then I move my mouse and I make sure that I'm very careful to pick so that it stays lined up. Because your dimensions should always stay lined up. And they're going from the center mark to the center. Come up. See how it's keeping it nice and aligned. Okay, and then we're going to reverse that same process for the horizontal ones. So in that particular case, I want to go from, again, here to here, pull it out, and then I want an overall one. There it is. I'm looking for that little diamond. So just pay attention to your object snaps. Pull it to the outside. Okay, now let's do some dimensioning here. We want to dimension uh, a diameter. So I simply change the style to diameter. And then this one's going to be a radius. So we'll click on it and pull it to the out. And you will notice that in the example it has the parentheses two in front of it. So I just double left clicked on it, make sure I'm to the outside, and then I literally just type in that parentheses in the two and left click to the outside. Just like you're editing text, you can do the same thing on dimensioning. And I just did the inner key so that I could reactivate it. That's all I did. Um, I 
again, just highlight it so I can put the parentheses two in front of it. Um, a diameter. And then here's where everybody gets confused. They think, oh, it's got a radius and it tells me a radius. Okay, great, I can handle that. So they go to the radius and they click on the object and it won't do the radius. Why? Well, it's obviously not a circle. So we're gonna use a different one, it's called leader. And we're just going to select a point like right there and pull it out. And I'm going to turn ortho off so it stops doing that. So now it'll actually let me move it around to kind of like where I want it. And you just click and radius 0 0.73. And here's the next thing where everybody screws up. They go, oh my god, it's the wrong text. How do I fix it? Select all of it. Highlight it with your mouse. Come up here to where it says textile. Type in Arial. Hit enter. By block. Make it by layer. And that's all it takes. And it's done. Boom. Now, if I look at it and I realize it's slightly bigger than the rest of them, right? So if I highlight it again, and I can notice that it's a 0.18, it should actually be a 0.12. And just click to the outside, that's all it takes. And then again, it's a matter of changing your name, changing your, the year, changing the course number, changing your professor, and this time you have to change the title also. So in this case, remember, it will be problem number four. Plate. Plate dimension. So that's the whole thing. And then you would do a save as again. Make sure you're saving it to your folder, for the love of God, let's not lose it. And printing it out. So you're printing out a copy for me to look at to make sure you've done it right. And then you're going to submit the electronic copy to, of it to me in Blackboard. All right, you've just dimensioned the plate.